hailing from Detroit, now residing in Bel Air, the illusionist, Jarek 120! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the WCWC. Jeff Aiken here, ringside with Wrestling With Regrets. Brian Zane, I do need to point out that uh, Blake Chadwick and I are still on our special assignment. You may yep. see us in and out of here off and on, but Brian Zane, always a pleasure. Set his commentary position with you. I'm always here. I'm kind of a, I'm a stationary figure here at the WCWC. Now, I have to apologize because last time Jarek 120 uh, graced us with his presence, I called him a magician. That's not true. He's an illusionist. I just want to point that out. There's a distinct difference. I feel like he's more like a wizard. The guy's he could incredible. be. He, he's put a spell on me, I have to admit. You are a wizard. Folks, incredible, incredible matches we have for you here tonight. We're going to see Johnny Proof and Adrian Matthews in action. We're going to see Dante's rejects. And in our main event tonight, the Pacific Northwest Championship will be on the line. Look at the uh, presence, look at the confidence that Jarek 120 has in the ring. That is something well, you cannot teach. And we're going to bring his opponent up. And, and his opponent, hailing from Pittsburgh, Spicy Mitch. Hagen. Okay, I have to admit something, Jeff. Spicy McHaggis, he just offends me. He offends me. He offends me as just as a human being. He offends all the senses right now. I just I don't know what to make of this guy. I don't know why he's so popular. Is it because he's so relatable to the people here in the Pacific <laughs> Northwest? I think it might be because he uh, he offends my articulation and I can never say his name correctly. There you go. Spicy McHaggis. Hey, you nailed it. Yeah, well, as we talk about articulation, there are some very clear things articulated at the top of this uh, of the evening right now. All hell is breaking loose in the Wrecking Crew right now. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll, I'm sure that we'll see some of the dust settle. We'll find out what's going to happen in here. But after Mike Camden lost the Pacific Northwest Championship last time on the WCWC, Brian Zane, I, I mean, is he out? I mean, yeah. Is, is this some sort of punishment? I, I've never seen a shakier foundation for the Wrecking Crew than I have in the last couple of weeks. First, the grappler left. He pieced out. There has been a bit of a power struggle. Now, the crown jewel of the Wrecking Crew, Mike Cannon, has lost the championship. So, yeah, what happens with him? I, I mean, where does he lie in the hierarchy? We could find out by the end of tonight he's going to get another shot at that championship against Hammerstone. If he wins it back, then things will be, I would imagine, the status quo remains. And things are going to be hunky-dory once again. He'll find his place in the hierarchy. But, God, you know, if he loses again tonight, what's going to happen to his standing? Yeah, and all he has to do is beat Hammerstone. I mean, that's it. Oh, yeah. Seems pretty simple, right? Yeah, I can do that. Let me do that. Well, in the meantime, here in the ring, Whoa. we're talking about beating Hammerstone. we about Jarek 120 using some handcuffs. Referee finding those in his tights. Uh, uh, an illusionist never shares his secrets, Jeff, but I think the referee tried to blow it wide open for him. I think if you demonstrate enough illusion, at some point the referee's going to start looking a little more closely. Try to find that. Se there you go. He was just trying to do a magic trick, people. The referee deprived him of that. Seems pretty legit. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Here's some sportsmanship on display here. Oh, Spicy wants that. Oh, my God. McHaggis has had just about an ass twice. That, that's 330 pounds of force just crashing down. Oh, my God. Once again, he's flattened him, and the match just barely begun. Spicy McHaggis has had a lot of opportunity here in recent times on the WCWC to make oh, to make an impression. And no. here he's going to do exactly I, that. I, I have to look away. I, no, I'm not looking. Not looking. Offends the senses, offends the face of Jarek 120. Is he done yet? No. My, my eyes are closed. My eyes are closed. You done? Well, he's done, but. Okay, thank God. Well, I can still smell from here, though. And imagine what Jarek 120 is smelling if we. Still the effects. That face tells the story, folks. Thank God smell of vision has not been invented yet. Yeah, that's nice. Spicy McHaggis has Jarek 120 in a great position. Spicy McHaggis, as I said earlier, has, has been had quite a showing on WCWC television here recently. But when uh, the WCWC holds live events, and you can check those event schedules online at wc-wc.com or all the social media use the hashtag the WCWC but tomorrow that's going to be uh, October the 14th we're going to be in Salem Oregon for a live event down there you'll see Spicy McHaggis 
uh, well, most Snell likely, too. and uh, a lot of other great competitors in the WCWC. Just visit wc-wc.com for tickets and event info. Yeah, if you want to see a freak show in person, you can go right there to Salem tomorrow. Or just keep watching this matchup. Here's the thing, though. I mean, we can talk ad nauseum, literally ad nauseum, about uh, Spicy McHaggis and his tactics, but Jarek 120 is the one laying on the mat right now. See, I like you. You, have a, you, you, you're, you're, you are, you, you, you cut like a knife. You know, Blake, Blake doesn't always do that. I like your candor. Just get I, right to it. I like I mean, the cut of your jib. How, how do you not call it what it is? In Spicy McHaggis. Oh, Jarek's in a bad way here. Oh dear. Oh my. Whoa! Wow. You know, we see people use those turnbuckles as weapons pretty frequently, but never have I seen one used quite like Look that. Out. Is he is he trying to pull his, his singlet up as he's running? That, that's, he's going to need a lot more stability to get that thing pulled up. I mean, you know. Maybe some grease. The one, the one advantage that uh, Spicy has here, well, he's got the strength, he's also got the size, and he's got a little center of gravity. Jarek's got to try and he's got to pull some real magic out of his hat. Oh, look at those knees right that's into the a, back. That's a low center of gravity. He has his own center of gravity. He has his own orbit. Jarek 120 getting eye to eye with Spicy McHaggis. Look at him. Oh dear, this is not voting well for the illusionist. Look out, Jarek. Find your way out of there. Find, you, find your magic. Oh my God. Oh wow. Jarek 120 just about pulling off his biggest trick and disappearing into the folds of Spicy McHaggis. Yeah, Spicy pulled a little magic, trick, magic trick of his own. Look at that. Some chops to the gut. I'm off the window out of here if you're strong enough. Spice doesn't know what to do here. I mean, this is, I mean, he's looking, he, I will admit this, he is looking good against Jarek 120, a man who has been racking up some impressive wins lately. But he's got to find that killer instinct to be able to put Jarek away here. I completely agree. Spicy McHaggis has had a good showing against every opponent we've seen him, but it's just completing it. It's finishing. We talk about it a lot in football, how you've got a great team, but it's the fourth quarter that matters. It's the fourth quarter that Spicy McHaggis falls apart. Oh, and look at that kick. Right, Jarek right into the beard. That's going to knock him loopy. Now Jarek has got to try and find, you know, Jarek, he's on the offensive now, but he still has to try and find a place to rest and gather himself. But no, nope, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's just going to, is that it? No. Why? It's going to take a little bit more. It's difficult when you try and pin Spicy McHaggis, the uh, oxygen level is actually lower at that, uh, that elevation. Now hang on, what do you say? See Jarek just pull something out of his hat? Nothing. Just my hand. Give me that. What you got? Yeah, those are handcuffs. Yeah, the referee oh, found those handcuffs hand earlier. Again. No! That's Pittsburgh, baby. Ugh. God, do we have to shoot in HD? Seriously. Can we go back to analog? Spicy McCagg is throwing together oh. the combination here. Uses his gut to get him down. Is he going to be able to capitalize? This is what separates McHaggis from getting that win streak in motion. Like a runaway freight train. Oh, that's an unpleasant view for Jarek 120. I hope he signed a waiver. Oh, dear. Oh, no, not no. No, no. One rope's enough, Haggis. One rope's enough. I know we're hitting the end of fall, but it looks like a summer oh. team splashing across Jarek 120. Oh. And if it wasn't for that, that ring rope, Spicy McHaggis would have his hand raised victorious right now. What's he going to eat it? Man, Spicy's been looking good here, but right now Jarek's been able to find a way to get out of all these scary predicaments. Spicy, I think he went to the well too early with the uh, the, the gut move there. I don't know what it's called off the top of my head. Right here, we're seeing a jumbo oh. jet spin. No, called back to the runway early. Oh, there's that move. There's that, 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 that right hook that knocks his opponents out cold. I don't know how he does it, but time, it's effective. Time and time again. The winner of this match. Jarek 120! Absolutely impressive win by Jarek 120. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to the WCWC on TV.